fear of failure. Week number three, how do you use NLP techniques? The third technique that I designed, I was actually blaming the construction in the previous two videos on on the, 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 the maintenance. It actually, it's almost silent day here, which means that people are building Ogo Ogos, which are big, scary statues, pieces of art. And so they're all like in a crunch to finish that by, I believe, a couple of days from now. So the third NLP technique is actually stealing from the world of positive psychology a little bit from the WHOOP method. And I've covered the WHOOP method in previous videos, but instead of like thinking from a space of doom, is you could also think about if this thing were to fail or almost fail, then what do I do? Or you can even go to prevent this failure from happening. What do I do? And, and if you want to NLP that up a little bit more, you go, what specifically will I do as a solution that flips your brain out of the doom scenario and into solution mode? So rather than focusing on the problem, you're actually focusing on the solution, which is very typical for NLP practitioners and master practitioners and NLP coaches to do. That's where we set ourselves apart from the therapist. Rather than focusing on the problem, we focus on the solution by copying the strategies of successful people. So if this were to happen, what, what specifically will I do? Or to prevent this from happening, what specifically should I do? And there's two ways of watching it. If you watch the previous two weeks, you can actually rehearse this sort of like associate it, where you play the whole movie of doing the action and having a different outcome. And, and imagine what you will see, hear, feel, smell, taste in that space and prime your brain accordingly. But if it's too hard for you to remain emotionally positive or optimistic, you can also do that dissociated, which means you watch yourself as a neutral observer, no emotion, on a movie screen, doing the activities to mitigate the issue or mitigate the problem or making sure that you have an action plan that prevents the failure from happening. If this issue is a little bit larger for you, that's fine. That's self-esteem, years of installation that I would actually recommend that you do one out of three things. One, you could hire an NLP master practitioner to work with you. You can contact our office, tell us where you live, tell us what your challenges are, and we would be happy to recommend you a former student or send you a list of former students, which is actually on our website. Second, you could also come for an NLP training, of course. You can go here on Bali, um, Portugal, Mexico, Los Angeles, Miami, and Amsterdam. That's one way of doing it. You could do a seven or 16 day program and literally walk out with self-esteem that's off the charts and eliminate a fear of failure once and for all. The third thing you can do is there are over 1500 free resources available on my website and you can visit that at globalnlptraining.com backslash simply. And there's also visualizations on there entirely free of charge, many blog articles, other videos for you to check out. See you around.